Guyana Defense Force has commissioned two HAL built Dornier 228 aircraft that were purchased from India earlier this year. Mazagin Dock shipbuilders will deliver the first Nilgiri class frigate to the Indian Navy next month. LNT is exploring to collaborate with defense public sector undertakings to participate in the Indian Army's 1,770 FRCV project. Despite disengagement of troops from the friction areas in eastern Ladakh, there will be no immediate changes to the present Indian Air Force deployment along the LAC. The government is weighing options for the construction of a 8 km twin tube tunnel that will facilitate smooth movement of military personnel between Pangong Lake and Leh. Hindustan Aeronautics will debut the first prototype of its 13-ton Indian multi-role helicopter by 2027. The Aeronautical Development Agency has announced that the first prototype of the Tejas Mark II will be equipped with proven line replaceable units from the Tejas Mark I, to accelerate the prototyping process, and avoid additional expenditure during the prototyping phase. These components will be replaced during the production phase with state-of-the-art line replaceable units under development for the AMCA program, that will bring advancements in avionics sensors and mission management systems, which will eventually enhance the operational capability of the Tejas Mark II. The Tejas Mark II rollout is on track for October 2025, and first flight by 2026. DRDO Hindustan Aeronautics and the Indian Air Force had explored the development of an electronic warfare variant of the Su-30. However, progress has been limited due to a lack of consensus and resource prioritization. An EW-capable Su-30 could provide jamming support to strike formations, by detecting and neutralizing adversary radar and communications, thus increasing survivability in contested environments. China has already developed a J-15D electronic attack variant, which serves as a reminder of the growing gap in EW capabilities between the Chinese and the Indian Air Force. Larsen and Tubro has announced a partnership with Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited, to jointly bid for the Indian Army's towed gun system project with the Danush towed howitzer, which will be locally manufactured by LNT if the bid is successful. The tender is for 400 units, with the potential to expand to 1,200 units in subsequent phases. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark,